everybody what is going on today we're doing a 2017 edition video of my smackdown live roster collection uh, i did a video like this last year once we had the brand split and uh, that video did really well i think we did have over 100,000 views on the smackdown live roster video which was pretty insane and I figured I would do an updated edition of the 2017 SmackDown Live roster. Everything updated. We're also going to do a Raw version, but I wanted to start off with SmackDown because SmackDown is the A brand. And back in the day, I kind of remember people were saying SmackDown really got the worst part of the brand split. And they don't have the great talent that Raw does. But looking at it now, SmackDown Live... It's the A show and it is so awesome. I enjoy Smackdown every week. Raw is garbage, but uh, Smackdown is so awesome. And I even said that in, in the last video, if you want to check that out, that I was thinking Smackdown had the better roster and they definitely do have that. They obviously have the better writing as well, which is pretty important, but Smackdown, like I said, is the A show. And I would say we just start right off and we're starting off with Jack Swagger now. Jack Swagger was on Monday Night Raw after the brand split and then he got um, over to SmackDown and a lot of people always commented on the videos that Jack Swagger was on SmackDown but obviously w once I made the video uh, he wasn't so now we have Jack Swagger here on the SmackDown roster this is Jack Swagger from the Elite Series 26 so that's a really old figure already but it Kind of represents Swagger still. He isn't on TV anyway as much. So, uh, yeah. Let's move on with a tag team here. And we have the Vaude Villains. Still nothing really changed about the Vaude Villains. I think they are absolutely boring. And nobody really cares about the Vaude Villains. I mean, a few people might, but I really don't. And I think they aren't really good at all. Uh, moving on. Uh, let's do another tag team. Oh, we can do these separate. First off, we have Tyler Breeze. Uh, that figure is now kind of outdated already. He doesn't really look like this anymore. But this is the Walmart exclusive Tyler Breeze, his only elite figure so far. I hope we get an updated version, probably a battle pack of the Fashion Police down the line. I really hope we get that. Um, because here we have Fandango and f that is from Elite 27 and that is really old as well still in his like first gimmick on the main roster kind of when he beat Jericho at Wrestlemania kind of around that time so it is really old it's still a, a really good looking figure but it's still a really outdated so hope we get an updated Fandango probably not an Elite but hopefully basic then we have another jobber here we have Kurt Hawkins, and that is an elite fix-up. It's nothing special, actually. It's a Kurt Hawkins battle pack hat, and I put it on a Christian elite body. Uh, that is the flashback Christian. It's not really anything special. I didn't really want to get a custom done uh, just for Kurt Hawkins. He isn't really a big part on the main roster, so uh, I figured I would just do a fix-up of him, and it's looking all right. Nothing too special, but like I said, he isn't really much on the show anyways. Um, moving on, who do we do next? We also have a, a James Ellsworth custom. I got that done because James Ellsworth was pretty much in the main event a lot. Now, of course, he is not really in a main storyline on SmackDown anymore. He's kind of like with Kamala, and it's all right for him, I guess. Nothing too special for Ellsworth. I think he doesn't even wear this anymore. Now he kind of wears this weird stuff. I don't know. So, yeah, James Ellsworth. Now we have another tag team here. We have the Usos, and those figures also really bother me because they are so outdated, basically. Um, but, yeah, we still have not gotten updated Usos. I hope we get some soon because uh, those are just so outdated. I really hate it. And moving on, we have another tag team, and we have the Ascension, Connor and Victor. I mean, they're doing a bit better, like I said in my Backlash video, but, you know, they still kind of always lose. They had the pretty... The match with American Alpha on SmackDown was pretty good. We gotta say that. 
but uh, they still lost so um, and now it looks like the Usos are getting a tag title feud so uh, yeah next off we have Apollo Crews still the basic figure from basic 64 I think it's an alright Apollo Crews now, of course Apollo Crews isn't really doing great on Smackdown but I still need a figure of him and you know you kind of need guys like him on Smackdown as well that kind of do the job that are kind of putting the spotlight on other superstars even though Apollo Crews is really great in the ring and probably deserves better um, you know you need people like that on the roster here we have his good friend we have Kalisto uh, that is Elite 42 they already made a new Kalisto Elite in Elite 48 I don't really know if I need that because I'm pretty much fine with this Kalisto and it's pretty much the, the same just in green so I don't really know if I will pick that up uh, next off, who are we going to do next? We're going to do Kane next, and that is also pretty old Kane, but it's pretty much still up to date. It's the Demon Kane from Elite 22, nothing too special, but still a pretty cool Kane. Don't really need the new Elite 47.5 Kane because I think this one is better pretty much. Next off we have Dolph Ziggler guy that definitely deserves a better booking on Smackdown but I hope he's getting there. Um, this figure a lot of people always liked is my custom elite Dolph Ziggler. He doesn't really wear this attire often anymore. I mean he wore it twice I guess at Money in the Bank and then he wore it again on Raw. I don't know if he wore it again after that. But yeah, it's a really, really great Dolph Ziggler figure. I really do enjoy this one a lot. Then we also have The Miz. Um, the Miz obviously is doing really, really great on SmackDown. Now, probably going into a feud with John Cena at WrestleMania. I'm not really looking forward to that. Moving on, we got the Lone Wolf Baron Corbin. That is a custom Elite figure. This is not an original Elite Corbin because Mattel still has not made an Elite Corbin, unfortunately. It takes them pretty long, actually. So here we have Baron Corbin, and he's probably going to face this man at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental Championship. Here we have Dean Ambrose. This is the Elite 41 Dean Ambrose. I still gotta pick up the Elite 48. I think that is a pretty good figure as well. But yeah, this Ambrose is still pretty cool as well. Looks really great. I'm really happy with that Dean Ambrose. Then next up we have American Alpha with the custom SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. So yeah, these are customs a lot of people asked in the Backlash video uh, where I got those battles. Those are custom made. American Alpha, really, really great tag team best tag team on SmackDown for sure and I'm glad I was so glad that that did not happen in the last roster videos but now it did fuck it but yeah we have American Alpha really really great figures I think and also great tag team like I said next off we're going to do Next up, I'm going to do Eric Rowan, who is, of course, still on SmackDown. He's going to come back really soon. And that will be really interesting to see what kind of part he plays in the Wyatt Family storyline. I'm really looking forward to that. Eric Rowan, right there. Then we also have, of course, a Luke Harper, who is now not a part of the Wyatt Family anymore. Also really interesting to see uh, what part he's going to play in this whole storyline now. I really love the whole Wyatt Family storyline. I really feel it's one of the best storylines in WWE history even maybe. It's so awesome. I really do enjoy it a lot. Moving on we have my updated Elite John Cena updated armbands. So this is probably taking Mattel another year to make. So I figured I'd just get a custom done of this attire and I really really enjoy it a lot and John Cena wants John Cena figures always tend to fall so we gotta be extra careful here yeah there we have Cena moving on we have what probably still is my favorite figure in my collection we have AJ Styles I mean that costume is just awesome I really love it and AJ Styles of course one of my favorite wrestlers, probably the best wrestler in the world right now. 
Next off, we have the 2017 Royal Rumble winner, Randy Orton. Love Orton at the moment, doing such amazing work with Wyatt. Uh, can't be better. I'm really looking forward to how everything turns out with the Wyatt family, man. Th this stuff is so intriguing. I really do enjoy it so much. So here we have Randy. Uh, that, by the way, is a fix-up. This is from the Daniel Bryan Battle Pack, the head skin, and I kind of like it. So I swept it onto an Elite Orton. And finally, we have the WWE Champion, Bray Wyatt. Of course, this is a custom figure as well. Because, as we know, Mattel, they're going to need another year to make this attire of Bray Wyatt. So, yeah, custom Elite Bray Wyatt. Really, really awesome. I'm so happy that Bray Wyatt is finally at the top. Can't really wait to see how everything is playing out with the Wyatt family, like I said. Uh, so awesome. He's getting booked really, really well right now, so I hope this is going to continue this way. So that is pretty, pretty damn awesome. I really love this Wyatt figure here. And uh, that pretty much wraps it up for the SmackDown roster video, I guess. Of course, there are a couple guys missing. I don't have Heath Slater and Rhino. I mean, I have a Heath Slater, but it's so outdated. And Mojo Rawley doesn't have a figure yet, and I'm not making a custom of Mojo Rawley because I don't really care for that guy at all. I mean, Zack Ryder's also injured, so and the Elite 17 Zack Ryder is so outdated. I kind of didn't want to put it in here. Uh, what else? Uh, we have the women's, of course, that I didn't want to include. But otherwise, I think we're pretty much set. Of course, Shane and Daniel Bryan are kind of part of the roster as well. But uh, I didn't. I kind of wanted just the superstars in this video. So I hope you did enjoy this video of the SmackDown Live roster. Like I said, the Raw roster is coming up as well. Hopefully pretty soon. Probably will be pretty soon. I'm going to film that Raw roster video. Yeah, here we have the whole SmackDown Live roster. Let's take a look at it again. Man, that AJ Styles, I just love it. Bray Wyatt, Orton, really cool with the fix-up. A uh, Harper, I really want to get the new basic Harper with the longer hair and do a head swap. American Alpha, updated Cena, Dean. You know, pretty happy with my roster that I've got here. Like I said, we need updated Uso and Fashion Police. But yeah, pretty happy with that roster. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. That is always really appreciated, guys. I will be back pretty soon, like I said, with the Raw roster video. Uh, have a good day, everyone. And I'll see you all in the next one.